Hello everybody. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. Ah, oh, so I just received, like just now, in the mail, the Dino Rivals Quetzalcoatlus. And I picked up this Pteranodon a little while ago. I just hadn't made a video on it because I didn't want to make a video on it by itself. So, <laughs> before I continue, if you're wondering where I got it, uh, it was on Walmart's website. Uh, they are just selling it now. I just got it shipped to my house in two days. I just bought it two days ago and I got it shipped in for like a really cheap shipping fees. I could have even just picked it up at the store if it wasn't so hot outside. But yeah, regardless, if you just if you want to get this Quetzalcoatlus, and I'm gonna take a wild guess just looking at it from just looking at it in the box, this is something you're gonna want if you're if you're a good uh, dinosaur toy collector. Yeah, just go to Walmart's website and you can buy them. Uh, it is, you know, if you have a Walmart where you live. Anyways, I'm just gonna get on because I really want to open this up. Of course, I'm gonna open it up second because I gotta I gotta keep the most exciting thing for last. All right. So, oh, oh, one second. Microphone stand's kind of messing with me. Nope. Come on. Yeah, I record this on a microphone stand because I don't actually have a phone stand. I just prop this phone up on the little holder here. There we go. I fixed it. All right. So, first up we have the Dino Rivals Pteranodon. Now, I was wondering where this was. I had seen it on the back with, like, the box of these guys, but I'd never found it. And I was just walking into Target one day to shop for, like, some daily supplies, like, um, like, you know, shampoo and stuff. And I just walked into the section, and there was one sitting right on the shelf. And I bought it, and it was, like, a week ago. So, let's get this guy out, and it's just a, just a coincidence that the uh, Quetzalcoatlus went on sale as soon as it did. Now, guys, I haven't made a video in really long, and so I'm gonna try and get the other two videos I have up, I have of dinosaur reviews up today, and then I'm gonna see about after that getting the other stuff I have lying around up, like especially the showcase of my mobile lab, and then hopefully like the instructional video for my mobile lab as well, which is like five hours long, so I think I'm gonna have to split it up into multiple parts, but I'll get to that when I get to that. I have like, I, because I, 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 I made a video as soon as it came out of the, the Natsudoceratops concave in here, uh, Allosaurus, the big, the battle at little big rock, whatever it was. I just didn't remember the name, it doesn't really matter to me right now. And I just never got around to uploading it because I just didn't have time. The job's taking up all of my free time. But I finally got today off and I didn't have anything else to do. So, I was just waiting for this toy to arrive. And I was gonna review both these guys at the same time, and so that's what I'm doing here. All right, so right here, let's start with the artwork, which is just fantastic. There's like a little thing on that. It's like a line. It seems like from the tape. Maybe that's into the card. No, that's yeah. No, that's different from the tape. I have to get that off. All right, so we got the basic stats of 22. It's got decent speed, which would make sense. Intelligence, I wouldn't really say that for Tyrannodons. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't know enough about Tyrannodons to say that they're not that intelligent. And I definitely disagree with the strength. Tyrannodons are not very strong creatures. Let's just acknowledge that right now. I do like how you can, like, sort of fold and unfold the wings. I haven't really gotten Tyrannodons. Actually, I think this is my first real Tyrannodon, like, Pterosaur. I've never really been super into the Pterosaurs. Because I, um, I'm always a, more of a dinosaur guy, you know? And, and I did, 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 they never really posed for me. Like, I didn't really work naturally into the posing. Just get the little code. They never really worked naturally into the posing of the other, like, dinosaurs I put in there. They'd have to be, like, propped up on an object so they look like they're flying and whatnot. I mean, regardless, the colors on this thing are really great. I really love the bright yellow crest. It's very... Cool. I don't like the teeth, because Pteranodon do not have teeth. This is very clearly a Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon repaint. Uh, we got the wing flaps, which is has a lot of... It's really good movement. It's got a lot of... You know, it's not like, like some other toys where you just go like this. It's like, you know, a full, like, really big flap. And then through jaws closed. There's no snap, but it's very responsive. You can see it's really good. The colors aren't really too inspired besides the crest. It's just, you know, gray and sort of orangish. The crest is like the best part about all this. The eyes. I'm just looking for any bleed over possibly. No, oh, looks like it's good. If I get the camera on that a little bit. Paint on the eyes looks pretty good. And teeth as well. There's not a lot of bleed over. 
So generally, it's just a, it's just good. It's competent. It's definitely good. I don't really have much to say on Tyrannons because they're not really my favorite, but except for the one that I'm about to do next. So let's do this. All right. Yes. All right. So here we are with the more exciting creature, the Quetzalcoatlus. The only exception to my, I don't really think that Tyrannons are all that interesting. Role. I've never been a big fan of Tyrannons, but this one's always been a special exception. Just because of how massive it is and how awesome it is. Uh, as soon as I heard it announced alongside the Amargosaurus, I knew I had to get those two as soon as possible. And so, I, kept, I keep looking up at the listings to see when they go on sale. I check in stores all the time, because the websites don't update as much as I'd like them to. But here we are. And I have this monster. Let me get that card out. So, so excited with this thing. Oh uh, yes, the most amazing pterosaur. Biggest, most amazing pterosaur. Finally, have a toy of it. It's awesome. So you don't really get that many pterodon toys, and that's probably because a lot of people buy them, myself included. The Quetzalcoatlus is always one that I wanted a toy of, because I always loved Quetzalcoatlus. Azdrakid pterosaur that could, as big as a plane. Nothing sparks the imagination more than just those few words. A flying creature as large as a plane brings up all sorts of awesome images. Let's take a look. And then let's, on the images, let's take a look at this image. Now, I do think that Drand, that I realize that the uh, the image kind of has teeth. I don't think Quetzalcoatlus has teeth like that either, but the toy doesn't. We're going to see that in a bit, which is interesting. Nine strength. I still really think that the strength is overstated on these guys, and I don't think he would be faster than Tyrannodon, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe he would. Maybe... Again, I don't really know too much about Tyrannodons. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just wrong. Seven seems fair, actually. And they were out there eating baby dinosaurs. Gotta be a very aggressive and eat... <laughs> very aggressive animals start eating babies. Now, if you just take a look at this beautiful wing color. Look at that. Purple and blue. That looks Fantastic. You can see how it looks with the wings stretched out. This massive craned neck of the Quetzalcoatlus. And look at just like the purple on the crest and the orange on the beak and the, even like this turquoise down the eye and the side. These colors are absolutely fantastic. And I feel like if they had gone with a little bit of a darker brown, it would have been just absolutely perfect. Because the tan is kind of uninspired, but everything else is fan just it's like so vibrant, so saturated, so beautiful. See if it bites. Okay, so, so it, it seems to be that like the bite, like, it does it does better sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. So it seems like that's a little bit finicky. Maybe it just needs to be tested a few times. Nah, see, it's still it's still a little bit weird. It doesn't seem entirely consistent on its bite. Of course, we got its wings at two, with a really good flap on that. Just really nice. Again, not like those other ones I've seen where it's like, they move like two centimeters. You got a full, it goes higher than the head. It looks fantastic. And the legs can be moved, I guess. I mean, I'm actually curious if you could, I don't think you can. I was going to say, can you have him like standing up? Because I'd like to like have him pose like that, but I don't think I could do that with the way this thing is built. Unfortunately. They give me, at least they give me the leg motion. That's neat, at least. So he's just... He's huge. Let's, say, uh, let, let's get a good size comparison with him. This is the Albertosaurus. And you can see just how big this guy is with this going under the tail. He's massive, and that's awesome. Let's get a little look at that uh, special code there. There we go. He's just, he's like, he's, he's, as long, <laughs> he's as long as the Albertosaurus, and he's definitely wider. And I'm just so happy to have this thing. It's so cool. Oh man, I'm gonna, I absolutely love this toy. I'm gonna put this is this right here. This is this is this is uh, this is desktop toy material type stuff. This is the kind of toy I keep on my desk. We can see it just quickly, just to reaffirm what I said earlier. You can see inside the mouth. It's a little blurry right now, but let's get focused. There. You see, there's no teeth in there, so don't have to worry about that. The card has teeth, but the as you can see. The head does not, and the beak's a little bit finicky in how, whether it closes all the way. So, I mean, it's not perfect on the beak, but everything else, and it could have gone with a little bit better colors on the main body, but everything else about this toy is just perfect. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic, and I absolutely love it. I know I'm surprised saying absolutely love because I just, 
<laughs> oh, I love this toy so much. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this guy is going right up. I'm gonna try to, maybe she get like a thing, like hang him from the ceiling or something. Make him fly. Regardless. I'm gonna get the tread on back over here, and we can just say. Alright, so you should get my opinion on what you can buy. I do think these are both just fine. The main bodies are like the biggest drag on these guys because they're just kind of bland in coloration. Same with, I guess, this guy's really the same. But some of the dinosaurs have some really cool colorations, like the uh, new Ankylosaurus and the Parasaurus that I actually have sitting over there. And even the Allosaurus and Altitoceratops, which are just off camera. They have some pretty cool main body colors, so, I mean, these aren't the best, but I mean, I mean, if you already have a Tyranodon, I don't think I'd suggest getting this one. If you don't, you might as well, like me, just for the card. But Quetzalcoatlus, I definitely highly recommend you pick this up as soon as you can, because it is just an amazing quality toy. And if you can get one, maybe this is just like a manufacturing error from mine. I hope so, because I'm hoping that the rest of them aren't like this. But regardless, <laughs> I said just get this Quetzalcoatlus. I want more Quetzalcoatlus toys, and so I really would like to see some support for this guy. Alright, so let me see if I can get this uploaded today, and I'll see if I can get the other videos uploaded about the, uh, the Battle of Big Rock and my attack packs that I picked up. Let's so see how much time I have. Hey, yeah, so a last minute addition on the review of the Quetzalcoatl is something I noticed as I was playing with this. I can get a good lighting on it. The leg, it looks like... One second, let me see if I can get a better light. Yeah, this isn't my, this isn't my room. This is my brother's room. It's an absolute mess. I'm trying to keep the camera away from that. It's like hairy. And if you know anything about Ajdukid pterosaurs and other chests like that, it's that they had Pycno fibers. This model legitimately has Pycno fibers. That is, like you can see it starting down, like right here, like all the, like the, the straight line details. You can see it going all the way down the leg and everything. I'm not going to lie, that is just truly mind-blowing. Just wow. <laughs> it's even better than I thought it was.